everyone, it's Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and I'm a little bit late. We've been doing all kinds of stuff today. So I would so, say you're never late. I'm so sorry that but we're we're late today. Girl, you're late. But it's okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to do some coloring. I thought it would be fun to do some coloring, um, color some flowers, because I'm ready for spring. And it does feel spring-like outside, too. So who's with me, y'all? So I know many of you are um, asking me to do some coloring live. So we're going to go ahead and, and start. And so I'm using the new alcohol markers that I got. Um, these came from um, the Daxi. Daxi. And Bill, say hi. Hi. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm really, I guess he's excited about me coloring, but it doesn't sound I like am. it in his voice. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so y'all can really uh, see what I'm doing here. It's like y'all are going to be sitting right here. I hope y'all are having a great day. Uh, but yeah, I'm new to these uh, markers. Um, they're, I like them. I just got them like two days ago, I think. And so I'm really excited about using these and coloring in flowers. I know, right, Margie? <laughs> exactly. She said, don't sound too excited, Bill. I know, right? <laughs> You'd think he was creating a card or something today, huh? So yeah, um, I thought I'd zoom in and look how big this is. This is big, okay? So let me show you. This is actually, this is one of the flowers um, from our Mother's Day Digi stamp, right? And I just made it bigger than it normally would be, okay? So for those of you that see, didn't see this, we released this. Uh, earlier than we actually would normally have, but we said, you know what, let's go ahead and release it. And so this is the digital stamp with all the pretty images and all of the sentiments and stuff. And so, yeah, I have my screen down close so that you're not going to be able to see the whole sheet because I want y'all to really see me coloring. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Hi, Sonia. So, yeah, look at all of Bertha that. Bertha Best Wilson is here early. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start coloring. I'm going to take uh, two of the colors out, um, and I want to work with these two colors right here. Danny Rice says she missed what the markers are that you're using. These are uh, called a Daxi, but here's what really kind of confuses me. It says touch, touch, bull. A Daxi doesn't seem to be written on the page. <laughs> but when I ordered them, they said a Daxi. Uh, 80 count markers. So I got 80 of these markers, y'all. These are alcohol markers. That says a Daxi 30 because I did order 30 first and then I went back and got 80 more. And the price was really good. So I said, you know what? And the Let me see how they are. Um, They do come in sets of like 60 and I got them on Amazon. So I'll share the link after this video. But that's the name of the company. So they come in a lot of colors. But some of you may have seen it in during the live. I showed you my new, something new. Um, and they do have the, look, they have the colors on it. So I'm going to be using these two, 75 and 73. This one is called Dark, Dark Blue Light, which I wouldn't think that was the name of it. But to me, it looks more like a purplish color. And here is uh, one called Ultra Marine. I can't hold it up too close to the camera because <laughs> it'll end up hitting hitting my phone, okay? So it's like really close. Y'all are really close. Okay, so I'm going to start with the lighter color first. So we're going to see how these go on. And I did practice on one of the flowers uh, with this and, and turned it into a card, so I'll show you that later. But I'm really liking the way this alcohol marker is working here liking the way the color is going on and I'm one of those uh, kids when I was little who would color inside the lines I was just one of those kids y'all <laughs> I, I wasn't one of those I colored inside the lines and put outlines on it so this is this is me as a kid coloring so this does actually fit on the top here it's got a broader tip also look at that they remind me of the Copic markers so but they're a whole lot cheaper so I'm going to just use what I have, right? I actually feel like how dare they try to keep me inside these lines. Well, at least that if you saw my drawings, you would 
say this, but I think I, I just thinking. it just um, I, it was something that I could do. I could stay inside the lines. I, I, it gave me some control as a kid. I don't know how that. Um, <laughs> I just had patience for it. I, I had all the patience in the world. Well, there you go, and it shows, babe. <laughs> outside, you know what I mean? It shows. Well, to me, coloring was my outside. You know. Hi, Jennifer Pinnell. She says hey. I just got in for work. I'm glad I'm able to catch the live. We are shut down for three weeks at her job. Oh wow! Well, welcome well, to the Jennifer. Live. She's going to have a lot of stuff to create, then, huh? Hi, June. New Zealand is in the house. Okay. Look at that. I hear some noise going on here. I do too. In the room, is that Ariel UK? No, that sound like it was outside, but I didn't see anyone outside there. Oh, I think she's recording. Ariel's right across the way. If y'all hear noise, it's just the household, you know? It's the household. <laughs> so I'm really liking the way that this goes on, and I'm going to probably go in with another color with a deeper color and just kind of highlight some areas, make them dark, do a little bit of shadowing. But I want y'all to see how these work. Now I could use that broad tip too. I could use the broad tip. Let me just show you how that works. Where you get more coverage, but I'm in no rush. You see that? I like my little fine tip. To me, it just, you just do, do what you feel, you know, you need to do, but I kind of like that finer tip to me. You could probably get into smaller areas. And I like the way the color is going on on that. And does that look great, y'all? It's like a little painting. And I could probably just go over the whole thing, but it's doing pretty good. And this is the digital, so I printed this out with our printer. And our printer is not fancy. The printer we have at home, Bill, I can't remember what the name of it is. What? But um, our printer. I can't it's remember. not a fancy printer. Matter of fact, we it was used as a bribe to get us, Tracy, to buy this one uh, MacBook Pro that time, remember? They threw it in. Oh, did they? Yes, that's oh. how we end up with it. Okay, well, there you go. You get this. Mac. That was a while ago. <laughs> we give you this printer. That was a while ago. So I'm just going to go in, in the same direction here. I won't change it up. But the coloring is going, it's going good. Look at that. Bill, I'm looking at your comment. You said we have about 400 videos for kids. I'm like, who does? Well, <laughs> what happened, Sandra White said uh, that, where me find it? Uh, somewhere up in here. Not on this channel. <laughs> yes, not on our other channel, right? I know, right? YouTube will send your flag. Sandra said, hey, guys, I wish more YouTubers would release extra videos for kids. Thank you for sharing What's the age group? What's the age group, Sandra? Because our channel, our other channel is a preschool channel. Called Little Story Bug. Exactly. Margie says, do you like alcohol or water the best? Well, I usually use my water color markers, but I'll tell you after I finish playing with these, okay? <laughs> but right now, I'm liking them both. I mean, it just... Right now, I'm liking it. I'm going in a little bit more now, if you notice. Right up to the lines here. Bringing it out more. But this is just a nice big old flower. And for my flower experts, I forgot the name of this flower. Um, what kind of flower is this? It's called flower. <laughs> it's called purple flower. Lavender flower. Hi, Kim Yasha Jones. It's her first time. Here. Hey, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Now, I've got y'all real close. I'm trying not to bump this with my... <laughs> y'all are real oh. close. Maybe Splash's paint must have said something. 
Oh. Hey, Miriam. She says she's been missing our lives. Pray for my son, please. He's traveling home. Where's he traveling from? Well, we we um we will wish him safe travels as he returns home. Polly's pretty says she loves the color you're using. Thank you. Polly, she loves any type of purple. I do. Anything related to it. I do. Purple and flowers and butterflies. Yvette I'm good to go. Daniels is on the front lines working on lunch because she has no furlough for the post office. Oh, yeah. You know well, thank you so much through, for y'all doing this. Their motto is through rain or snow or sleet or hail or something like that. They're coming, okay? Oh, is that what their motto is? I remember seeing that on a movie somewhere. Oh. <laughs> remember how they were That's like, look, I'd rather they be ride home. anything to get the mail. Yeah, so Bill and I decided that we'll come on and do these lives, even though it's not our regular uh, days. We thought that it would be nice, and we've been getting some really good feedback from y'all saying that, you know, you just love when we come on and, and do the live streams and stuff on YouTube. Hi, Inkview. This is Inkview's first time. She says, show us some love. Finally get a chance to watch, learn, and get more ideas while on lockdown. Smooches. Awesome. Come on in here. Get some ideas. Yep, so I've got 80 colors in this. So imagine all these colors to play with, right? So I'm just coloring one of the images. I wanted to go large, which is nice about the digital PNGs is that you can make you can get them like, you can size them the way you want. You can make them as large as you want? Yes, you can. Or as small as you want. So that's, is that a hydron trio? Is that what that is? That's what I'm, I asked them. Bertha Wes Wilson it. says hydrangea. Hydrangea? How do you say it? <laughs> hydrangea. That's all I'm saying. About, hydrangea. Hey, is hydrangea coming over today? The end, my, my <laughs> Hi, is hydrangea coming over today? <laughs> She says, but, but Bertha says that's one of her favorites. And they're, oh, they're nice. growing on the side of her house. Bertha, I'm not going to tell you what's growing on the side of my house, okay? But it's not that. Okay, so this one is called Ultramarine. And so I'm going to go use this as my deeper color. But what I like to do is kind of go off to the side a little bit here and just see what it looks like compared to the other color. And I like this because guess what? The top actually matches the color that you put down and that normally does not happen uh, in a marker sometimes uh, I know with my tumbles as much as I love them sometimes they the, the top of the marker does not look exactly like oh. the color that you put down so look at that Stacy Spencer says when we have when we have some new digital stamps I'm addicted this is a new digital stamp yep this is a new uh, Mother's Day um, digi stamp and it's 17 images on this day right so, so that's a lot Anyone Look at that. You can size these however large or small you want. We gave you a bunch of flowers on there. Uh, many of you said you would love flowers. So we gave you everyone that could possibly exactly. be a mom. Uh, mom, wife, sister, daughter. We put Happy Mother's Day right there. Grandmother, stepmom, friend, sister-in-law, cousin, aunt, and enjoy your day. There you go. So you, But you can use this all year round. Okay, so now I'm going to just take this and I just, you know, I'm not like one of those professionals where you, I'm just seeing where there might be a shadow and I'm just going to go in and just put some, a little bit of this darker color down. And then you'll have to see the other one I did. June Vale Vallega says, I want to tell everyone that these stamps stamp more beautifully and perfectly than many others that I've used. Oh, Amazing. wow. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. June, one thing we always say is these stamps are well constructed right from the inception. When when the, when, when we put them together, whether our artists, our artists do it or either we do, put, draw it or, or whatever we're going to do, it's, it's constructed from the perspective of making sure that the lines are cr going to be crisp and clear. And by the time I take it to both Photoshop and Illustrator, I'm going into a, a micro-editing 
Right. Stage. So Make even sure. on the even on the digital, he does a lot of cleanup too. And then by the time they come back from the manufacturer, we first of all we make sure that they're full of polymer because that's the highest level you're going to get in the stamping arena. Then they're well tested out. If there's anything that is not up to spec, they go back to the drawing board and make sure that they're going to be the kind of product that we feel that you deserve. Yeah. Yeah. In a nutshell, yep, you deserve it. If you're going to support us, uh, you deserve a great quality stamp set. So we try to do that every time. And these draw these images are hand drawn uh, before they even go into production. So that in itself is a whole nother step. And it's not computer generated. They're hand drawn images. Even the lettering. Look how just a, such a good job John does on the lettering. It just amazes me to sit him sit down with him and watch him create these uh, drawings. So Mary splashes paint on another note. She says her son is traveling back from overseas. Oh, well, we uh, wish him a, we're praying for a safe, exactly. safe travels for him. Jessica says, hi guys, another surprise live. Well, yep. We figured during the lockdown we would come on more because people need a little bit more encouragement. And just be as positive as we can be. Yep. Hi, Donna Sally. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with this lighter color again. And I'm just going to kind of, um, I guess, blend it a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So this is just my way of doing it, okay? So everyone has their way of doing these coloring and stuff. And this is just the way, my way of doing it. And then I could always just cut this out and be ready to put it on a card. This will look so pretty on a card. So I'm just going where I think a shadow might be. It might be around here, right? Right in there in between all the little grooves here. I'm just putting that little shadow. So I'm just going back and forth with this just to show you. So you hit your shadows first, and then you go in and deepen and darken. No, the I just co I color the whole thing first. Okay. So and then I go back the in, madness. and then I just go back in. For me, it just works, you know. For me. But um, yeah, you just gotta find whatever your style is, you know. Well, so I'm just you, thinking. Too. I'm just thinking this is possibly where a shadow would be. It's so fun, especially when you have a, a larger flower. I, I love being able to resize these digitals. Love it, love it. It almost looks like a painting, right? So I'm just dragging it up, dragging it up a little bit there. I hope y'all can see this uh, really good. Hopefully. Yes, Jessica. Tracy's using those, the new markers. Jessica, I'm using them. I went and got bold here. Said, let me use these alcohol because I'm so used to my tumbos. But it's okay to step outside uh, your comfort zone. So I'm, I'm just happy to step out live, okay? <laughs> Stepping out live, okay? So I'm going back and forth with these markers, y'all. In that center, might want to make it a little bit darker. We are, oh, we... Oh, with you, Margie. Sending prayers. Oh, sending prayers to Margie. Oh. See, he oh, only has see one kidney. She's huh? Margie says her husband, he only has one kidney. He lost the other cancer. Now the doctor is concerned about the other one. Oh, we're praying for you, Margie. That has got to be tough. Yeah, it's tough. Everyone's going through so much, you know. Life goes on. I mean, no matter what's going on all over the place, we all have a, 
and at the individual level. Everybody's doing battles. That's why you just never know what someone's going through. So you just you just got to treat them with respect and show them love, you know? Be kind. It doesn't it doesn't cost anything. Right, you never know what the person, no matter how bad you think your situation is, there's always someone. It's like the person who complains about his shoes and he meets a man with no feet. And Margie is so giving in our group, too. You know, even though she's going through her stuff, yeah, she, she continues is. to give. And so we just appreciate y'all for doing that. You know, we, we are seeing great stories coming out of this whole thing. People are stepping up. Heroes are stepping up, you know. Heroes are being created that's every what, day, you know. That's what Miriam Splash's paint was just talking about. Yeah, I saw her comment, and I was like, I just wanted to reiterate it. But um, way to go, you know always something we can do. I can make someone happy with my paper, right? Amen. Something that Sorry, may Creole. seem insignificant, right? You said amen? Sorry, oh. Creole, she's like, uh, Lord, I ask that you go before them in this time of need. God bless. Exactly. Yep. Regina M is sending virtual hugs. Hi, Diane 57. Not bad at all. So that's what I got so far. Okay. So there's probably areas. This colorless blender came with the 30 pack of on the uh it didn't come with that 80 pack, but it did come with a 30 pack of pens. The of the, of the, the skin markers, tones. the skin tone. So, but I noticed the 80 didn't have it. Didn't have what? Have the colorless blender. It might have forgotten. So, well, it's 80 pens in there. It just doesn't have this one. I, I, would, I they, would think that they would want to put that one in maybe there, Maybe they feel like... Oof, so oof, I'm just going to lift some of the color here. You know, just kind of blend it out just a little bit. Maybe like with skin tones, you would need that more or something. No, I think you would need it with all of them. So they probably just... Forget. That's just, you know, I would think that you would Did want you to have Did you count all 80 to make sure it's 80? No, Bill, why don't you do it right now no. for me? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. I've got to do it. Let me see. But if I count 79, then we'll know. Well, no, you count 78. Okay. <laughs> then we'll know. Because I have two. I'm using, I'm using two of them right now. It's funny how, look how time changes. When you're a kid, you can't wait to count. Let me count, let me count, let me count. Mm -hmm. You get older, you're like, count, please. I am really loving this. This is fun, y'all. And it's not perfect because I don't do yep. perfect. That's it. I'm just having fun. It's eight. It's 78 in here. Okay, well, there you go. 78 markers, but they don't have... There's 80 markers, but they don't have a colorless blender in there. They're fired, okay? But for, for $32, 80 markers, I'll take it. Okay, you're <laughs> hurry back. So it's just kind Sabrina's Too Sweet Creation. Yeah, clear out the color on that. And I'm going to just go in again. Just a little... It looks like a painting almost to me. Sabrina, we sent people to your site yesterday. Hopefully, they told you hi when they got there. Thank you, Regina. She says, thanks for a ray of sunshine on a gloomy day. Oh, nice. It sounds like a song. There's a couple of sunshine songs, huh? But I was thinking, I've got sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. Y'all know who that song is by. Who? Where's my people? Who is it by? I guess you say. You can't. What you, can you, make me feel that this right, way? Right, you can't sing on the on the channel. Bill, we can sing. Because YouTube will get mad. I think us. they'll be okay. <laughs> he said we can't sing. <laughs> we can't sing on the channel. Oh, I hear Ariel. I hear Ariel back there. Ariel's recording. We got another YouTuber in the house. For those of you that are just tuning in, our daughter is a YouTuber also. The family of YouTubers here. 
Yes, it's the temptations. By June, she has to catch the rest later. She's joining a faith community to pray. Oh, nice. Here you go, June. Okay, so let me take a sip of tea. I'm drinking some ginger tea, y'all. And it's like 80 degrees outside, isn't it, Bill? That's what they say. Denise Otham says she loves alcohol markers. She, used to, she uses them all the time. And Diane 57, you are correct. That's my girl. You guys are showing your ages. I caught my daughter singing um, a couple of Temptation songs and a couple of Diana Ross and the Supreme songs. And I was like, wait a minute, because they're like, you know, 22 and 27 now. And I was like, wait a minute. How y'all know that song? They were like, Mom, it's all you played on the car ride <laughs> to school or whatever. You know what? We were watching this I thing. was like, what? I would tell you how you really can show your age. Y'all remember, remember Pam, Gina's friend on Martin. I don't know what her real name is. What's Pam's real name, Tracy? Um, I call her Pam because she, she she did such a good job. She did. I can't think of her name is nothing else, but she has a daughter, and she they do these videos on Facebook or whatever. Where they're in their car, and Pam is driving. Her daughter is just singing. Oh, she's so cute and funny. Anyway, she and stuff she sings are rap songs. Now it's as progressive as Pam tries to be. You can tell she doesn't know a single one of those songs. And you know what? Neither do I. I have no idea. And her daughter singing every word. And the older people, we can't even keep up. We don't even know Her what face saying. is hilarious. Oh, my goodness. It's so funny. Her face is hilarious. Okay. This girl. And, and the, 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 young, the little girl, well, she's not that little. How old do you think she is, Tracy? About 17, 16? Anyway, she has such animation, character, and Oh, she's so funny. Presence. I know. It's almost like I can the, see her the face. Her mom's face is just oh, like, so it's, it's so funny. Okay. Her mom's face is, is so funny. So I can anyway. I on her own show, really. Yeah. I will watch her. It's not easy. Jessica says it's not easy trying to be more productive at home. Someone said, Tracy, I changed the lyrics above. Sonia Creel says, your fussy cutting is on point. You know what, Sonia? I used to struggle with fussy cutting until Tracy told me, and after 500 times of hear, hearing her say it, it, it finally went in one ear and stayed. She <laughs> told me to move the paper and not the scissors. And I would try to move, struggle with the scissors around the thing. Bill takes about an hour to fussy oh cut God. one thing. When I'm fussy cutting, I can't even talk no more. Yeah, he doesn't even breathe. I'm like, Bill, it's supposed to be relaxing. I hold my breath. <laughs> he will not breathe. Okay. One of the first times that I started trying to do this stuff, at the end of the live, I actually had a headache. He did. He was sweating, y'all. <laughs> he had the cartoon sweat. Ooh, I was you know how the cartoon characters sweat? And it's like, it's like just... I was struggling. I was focusing so intensely. <laughs> okay, so... I think we can do a pink one. I'm going to color a pink one, but I want to make a quick card out of this. I was trying to play around with something like this. Um, and maybe just putting it on here. Kind of like a tone on tone, maybe. Something like that. Look how cute that is. Or even taking yellow. And just putting it up against the yellow, too. Look at that. Tasha says Something they like have this. those markers at Walmart. Do they? They have the 80. And the price of those markers is pretty good. I'm sorry. But they all have of those this, markers, these right here are at Walmart? Wow. For those 80 and the quality and ease with which she's actually uh, executing for $32, that was fantastic. It, it, you can go into I, I like them. Michael's and buy one... Uh, Copy. How much that thing? About $7.99? $8? It was a lot. Per, we went into, marker? um, yeah, we went into, where did we go? You have five. Yeah, it was. 
Actually, I think it was Hobby Lobby we were so in. So you can even pay for the like, 80 no, or were... get four of the copies. <laughs> Take your pick. Bertha says she fussy cut cut is a lot of things today. I, yes. I think we're all going to be fussy cutting. <laughs> it's a stress reliever. You're right. Keeps Sabrina. your mind focused on creating something wonderful. Pam's name is Trishina Arnold. Tashina. That's right. Tashina Arnold. That's right. Yeah. Hi, Crystal Talbert. That looks cute. Look at that, y'all. So you can make your little cards out of this. Do all kind of little things with these. Let's see. Let's throw a quick card together here. You know what? You ever find yourself talking to songs? Hmm? You think about my girl. Talking we, to songs? Yes. You know, my girl, my girl. Oh, yeah. Talking yeah. about my girl. You know, come on. Mm -hmm. The way they talk she about this girl. <laughs> I said, good. In that case, I'll take her. <laughs> I'll take your girl. She sounds just, just like what I want. <laughs> you know, if you talk to the songs, please. That's how I used to feel. Well, there you go. So you get her, then you're like, you can have her back. Want her. Right, or him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not just say her. It could be him, too. Change my mind. I'm just going to get some paper here and just see Regina what I can says, make. It really pops on that yellow. It really pops on there, doesn't it? But what if I went and did this? Bam. Mary Brown says her fussy cutting has gotten better, too. Nice. We're a team of fussy cutters. Diana Reed says, I still don't know what the markers are called, but they look pretty too. Pretty nice. You know what, Diana? This is Tracy's second set, and she still I still don't know what the name. It's because when I went and looked, it was like a Daxi markers, 80 count. And I was like, okay. But then when the markers came, it said touch bull. <laughs> it doesn't I'm say like... anything like that. So <laughs> <sighs> so I I'm confused, but they, they work really well. <laughs> Jessica says she watched the My Girl movie probably 50 times when she was a kid. Last, it was a, a My Girl movie. Wasn't there? I watched a Temptations movie about 100 times. Didn't we, babe? I need some black paper. I'm going to, I'm coming out of camera here. I need some black paper. Regina says, I need to write that response as your own song. Regina, you remember back in the day, they used to be, they used to have songs, they responded to songs. Remember that, Tracy? Mm -hmm. And they were talking at the beginning, they would have some of the deep voice or something, they would come and talk at the beginning. Here's my, my thing, because I'll do, tell do, 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 that. Because yeah. me and Bill, I would go back and forth, I was like, you what know, you know girl. about this song? I see her face everywhere I go. <laughs> you remember talking about? Uh -huh. On the street at the and show. even at the picture yeah. show. Have, have you seen, seen her? her? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have you seen her? But at the beginning, they would talk. You see what I'm saying? I know, right? Girl, I used to go out and... You know, you're like, ooh! By the time he got through, it was done. Then he started singing too. Was, she was through. The girl was going <laughs> after that. Okay? <sighs> Y'all hear this man talking about some Seriously. songs. Seriously. And then there would be another song to respond to that song. Yeah. Exactly, Sabrina. You remember that song? Those were the songs. We're showing our age now. You know those kind of songs that make you think you was in love with somebody, you know, doggone where you couldn't stand? <laughs> you know those kind of songs like, uh, like Drifting on a Memory. Drift, you know, Drifting on a Memory. You're talking about... <laughs> But like woo, woo! When the music even came on, you ran, you ran and grabbed the first that is so girl's funny. honey, and you could pull up from the. the, the seat. <laughs> that is too funny. You didn't care. She had one eye in the middle of her forehead. <laughs> she had to come on this floor, not when that song was. Don't get there. this man started, okay? <laughs> Yesterday we were talking about how we met. Today we're talking about love no, songs. I'm just saying, so. you know. Oh, I know certain songs, okay? My favorite song was Sideshow. That was Ooh. like the most wonderful song. I think that was by the Shy Lights. Bertha knows about the Isaac brothers. Ronald Isaac is saying, I'm sorry. So if I want to make a small little card here, y'all, I'm not doing anything big. I'm just like, you know what? I just want to make something just because. 
You know? J Jessica McK McKenzie, her, her people were the Backstreet Boys. Mm, see, we, we did the, we had everybody, okay? Hi, Kim Dixon. There's no music, uh, what do you call it? I just love all styles of music. You're, you weren't locked into a particular genre. Neither right. was I. I just I just love music. And then my brother was a DJ, so I had to really <laughs> listen to him learning how to DJ. But the only thing, I've always said, though, I think I'm about three years or so too old for rap. And that's because, I mean, at 60, I grew up in an era when people really were singing. You know, people on the corners and everyone had groups and we were singing in talent shows. And But by the time my brother came up and he was eight years younger... This rap and stuff like that came out. And you know what? I was in eighth. I, I was in about eighth or ninth grade, I think. So I couldn't understand. But I liked every I like look, here's I loved all the musicals. They all heard us talk about musicals before. But I also loved um, you know, the Carpenters. I like Oh um, yes, I loved the Carpenters. I loved uh Dionne Warwick. I love her too. Um Johnny, Math, Johnny Mathis, Natalie Cole, Nat King Cole, a uh, little bit of everything, you know, Frank, Carpenter. Frank Sinatra. Um, but we, I grew up on a lot of musicals. So, Jim Neighbors. Hey, Angela Thomas says, I would like to know what are the best markers to get. Please help. I can't afford the Copic pens. And I love, love, love the color. Well, these are not Copics. Right. So these are alcohol markers. These yeah. are alcohol markers. I'm just showing you that I'm I'm making something just with... Uh, you showed them what this using looks Using like, what right? I have. I haven't shown them that yet. Here's the thing. Because the screen is... Yeah, it's, it's yeah. so low. But, but I, I'll put the screen up further so y'all can see what these Angela, look like. she'll show you at the end. But you're talking about 80 markers Angela, for $32. I'll show, you, I'll show you right now. And the quality is incredible. Right, and I have no connection with this company. So this is not like me saying, ooh. Right. Um, and, and that's if you want alcohol-based. Now, if you want water-based, my go-to are the Tombow Dual Brush Pans. I love those because they just because I just do. You see, my husband says he's not a crafter, but he's talking about water based and alcohol based. Go, babe. Patio says yes. Blue Magic sideshow. Ooh. Oh my goodness! Step Patty. right up. Ooh, hurry, that was a song. Before the show begins, my friend, something like that. I don't know if that's the words. <laughs> So see the man. Oh my goodness, that song would make you want to cry, though. <laughs> Let the side show begin. That was the song. Hey, Don't Harry. get Patty all happy up in here. Step right on she in. She's going to go around the house and slapping her kids. Cut it. Oh, you can play something cry. like side show. No. Guaranteed to, something to make. <laughs> Look. We just singing. Ooh. YouTube might take down this. Uh, I might. We might get. My son used to come red up flag, with so. about ten people singing. You couldn't. You couldn't understand one person. There'd be about ten of them saying, "Oh no, oh, I know you are. You be like, you are like, what are they saying? Like, hey, that's the song. That's a love song. I mean, that's a love song. That's when you it was know. A and, I, and I bet some of the music that we listen to as kids, our parents probably cringe too. I thought it was that, a That's when crack. you know you're getting older, huh? I no, I said I must be getting old. Okay. I must be old. I'm just kind of improvising here, y'all. So would y'all like me to do a pink one? Um, I'll show you all the markers, and then I'm going to do uh, one in a, a shade of pink. I think that'll be cute. Y'all taking me way back on this. Okay. This is a cute little note card, right, for Mother's Day? Hmm. This is a, uh, let's see. This is like four by, it's like four by four, about that, about four by four inches. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add some sequins on here. Let's see if I can throw Bill. Me and Bill will go you're, back and you're, forth you're with, right, with, with challenging some of the songs and stuff. Donna Salem saying that uh, Kathy has those Nouveau marks. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't, we were talking about trying those. Yeah, I got to try those out. Because I have some. I actually bought some from Kathy, so I got to try those out. 
And those are alcohol based, I think. Y'all got us over here singing. Mm. Tasha, she, she says, this is a bad day for me to watch something like this. She loves the channel, but we talk about Mother's Day. It hurts because her mom is no longer here. But Tasha, I understand. My mom is not here either. Or my father. Or my brother. Well, yeah. And I'm just, it's just you me. know. Yeah. Yeah, so, so I do feel your pain. It took a lot to come to grips with that, you know, because you realize it like, I'm just walking alone. That's how you feel, but you have to know that you're still a light that a lot of people are looking at. A lot of people are looking at you, Tasha, and they say, ooh, Tasha. They're like, Tasha, See, Miriam pure love. splashes paint. Yep. So I'm just going around the outside of this. I feel like it needed an outline, so I'm outlining it. Exactly, Bertha. Bertha says she's from Motown. She's not even going to mention mm. how all the people. Bertha, you remember when they had with, with the Motown, what was it called? That little house, Blue House, uh, where Motown was at? Uh, it was called something. Uh, I can't remember. But that's where it started before they, they moved into big corporate offices. But they told Detroit, up. Uh, They were mentioning some other songs earlier. Hi, Barbara Lane. Hey, Barbara. It's good to see you here. So glad that you're able to join us in spite of everything. I love the songs from Motown, Jennifer Bunnell says. You guys ever see that movie, The Temptations? And apparently Barry Gordy, when he was determining whether a song was up to snuff, he would have a whole panel of people and he would have, let the group sing in front of him. And after they were done, I mean, the song could be amazing as far as you were concerned, but then he would ask all the people in the room who were listening, he was okay, how many like the song? How many didn't like it? So let's say everyone raised their hand and said, yes, we all liked it. And he said, okay, now, if you're down to your last, your last $5, would you buy this record or would you or would you buy a sandwich? And <laughs> if they say they buy a sandwich, he would scrap it and go back to the drawing board. Yeah, Hitsville. That's what it was called, Hitsville, USA. Hitsville. This is the other card I did earlier. So look how pretty those flowers are, you know? This one I think I did, I went a little bit more in depth in there, coloring that in. So I think we can do another one. Let's do it, let's do a pink one. Just oh, because. Thank you, Barbara. Let's do a pink. Barbara Lake, she's thanking everyone. She says, My heart is just broken, but wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with y'all. Oh, I'm okay. so glad. That's what we need. We need to uplift each other. Ooh. Killing Me Softly with his song. Oh, yeah. Is that Roberta Flack? Killing Me Softly with his song. Mm -hmm. Rubber Band Man. Was that uh, Billy Preston? I can't remember. Killing Me Softly was... That was a nice one there. What? Y'all, Sam Cook songs. What you know about Sam Cook? Who? Who said something about Someone Sam Someone said Cook? Sam Cook. What do you know about Otis Redding? Okay. <laughs> well, my man was Stevie Wonder. That was my guy. Mm -hmm. See, I love Stevie Wonder so much. When I was in, uh, when he came out with the songs in the key of life, that's the only song that got on my record player. Yes, I had one of those ancient things. That's the only album that got on my record player for about two years. Okay. Let me show y'all. I'm going to show them this. Bill. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna make y'all dizzy just for a moment. I gotta show y'all these the, the amount of colors that are in this. Um, so y'all are gonna get a little bit dizzy. So I'll show you, and then I'll zoom back in so we can color the next one. But these are all the colors that came, of course, with these two as well. Charlie Pride. Look what? at all of this. He was a country singer, wasn't yep, he? Yep, he sure was. Sitting in the morning sun. 
Girl. Jenny, what you do about sitting in the morning sun? Mm-hmm. Oh no, that no, that's sitting by the dock of the bay, right? Oh, is that right? That, that, that's old as me. Sabrina says, I was just listening to Stevie, Stevie Wonder. I wish. Tracy and I were talking about Stevie the other night. I was just saying how his words were so powerful that even if you didn't listen to him sing, if you just just say, let me just look at the words of to his songs, you'd be floored just reading. Yes. Music sounded wonderful on those stereos. That's what Bill, uh, uh, Miriam Splash's paint was saying. Glenn Campbell. Okay, I'm reading your comments, huh? Doc of the Bay. Charlie Parr. I just like Glenn Campbell, too, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, Glenn Campbell was something else. I do like Ann Murray also. Ann Murray, Bill, I love her song, Snowbird. I don't know if any of y'all can relate. I will play that song about a million times, okay? I love that song. Okay, Tracy, can you remember the first concert you went to? <sighs> Oh, you can't You remember. know what? Yes, because it was when, and I, I think I might have been about ninth grade, the Sugar Hill Gang were performing. It wasn't even like a full-fledged concert because they weren't really that big at the time, but they were at this, um, man, I don't even know what, what grade I was in. I might have been maybe 11th grade. Ninth, no, 10th or 11th grade, maybe. Oh, no, that, that's not the tombow market set, Angela. No, these are not tumbos. These are the um, ones we can't name. <laughs> these shall remain <laughs> nameless because they didn't give us the proper name. Okay, so this is what they're called. If you go, they're called Amazon. a daxi. This was a thirty count, but these are the eighty count a daxi on Amazon. However, once the markers came, I was like, "Well, they called it a daxi uh, markers, but when they came, it said touch." touch bull on the market. And I was like, I don't see even see the name Adaxi on there. But I said, you know what? They didn't cost much. So I'll just go ahead and, you know, hey, and let me see how they job. color. And they, they're doing a pretty good job. For $32? Yeah. Think about this. You can pay $32 for these 80. Well, what I thought, I thought I had bought... $32 for four copies. Well, I thought I had bought the... Um, Bye, Donna. I thought I had bought the 60... And when it came to the house, it was 80. So was I going to return them? Nope. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I'll just, I think the 60 were like maybe $21 for 60 markers. So from the same company. But I'll I'll put the uh, link there or Bill can look it up and drop the link in there now, if you want to. Here's the first concert I went to. In the link. The, the concert was which one? Which link? To the markers. Okay, I'll get to that. Okay. But let me talk about my first concert. My first concert, then I put the link. I actually got upset because once I saw them, I felt like I would never be able to see anyone else because no one could possibly be this good. It was Earth, Wind, and Fire. They were so phenomenal. I mean, it was just. The, the musicianship, the showmanship, it was just, oh, that was mine. All right, so I'm going to take this color here. Well, I'll try it out and see if it's a color I want to use. I'm going to zoom back in for y'all again. Let's see. I want to, because I want one that I can really shade in with. Those two look somewhat similar, but I won't know until I really put it down on paper. But this looks like it'd be a great color, too, to blend everything in. And they actually have the names on these, y'all. And they're big enough for me to see. Look at that. So we're going to do one in, in pink. Okay. Now, this is all you have to do to find that set. That set. Go to Amazon.
and type in a Daxi markers. No, no, that's it. Right there. And my link is set. So, you know, that, that's already there. I don't want to have to try to type all that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do this other part here. Tasha, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for y'all. Tasha Lynn Wells said, I had to go to the hospital today because my shoulder was hurting me. And I did wear a mask and use hand sanitizer. So let me go way down here like that. I don't know how to do that. Well, let's see. So we'll go ahead and yeah. put this in just like that. So we're going to use those three. We're going to use these three, I think. I think. I'm going to test them out, though, to see what they look like once I really put them together and see if they blend well together. Y'all hear that plane? Someone's going somewhere, right? <laughs> Someone's going down. Oh, thank you, Sonia. She said the first card came out great. Thanks. I was just playing around. I'm going to be, I'll probably be in here for the rest of the afternoon. Let's see. Oh, they were talking about Charlie Wilson. Well, there you go. Someone is a Charlie Wilson fan. Ooh. Cheryl Jones says her first concert was Paul McCartney and the Wings. Those songs, the Beatles songs, were like on a whole other level, too. I'm going to try these out. Let's see what happens with this. Let's see what happens, right? This is pretty... That's pretty vibrant. Let's see. Hmm. So this one looks... To me, this one looks the lightest right now. That one looks a little bit more... I'm trying to go with a pink. So let's, let's just go ahead and try this because I don't want to be pondering over what this is going to look like. Got to do it. So y'all planning to get in your craft room this weekend, I hope. Make something beautiful. I hope so. Oh, Susan says her, her first concert was Moody Blues. Kim Dixon says, sadly, my first concert was Hank Williams Jr. Uh-oh. Why you say sadly? <laughs> okay, I'm liking the way this pink is going on here. A lot to work with. Putting down the lighter color first. Margie says, is it Friday already? I know. This week, y'all, <laughs> it's like... We've been in the house so much that it feels strange. Yep. And we got out early this morning um, Yes, we went to, to go to the store because I figured, hey, look, we hit the store at 7 a.m. They said we're opening at 7 at least that's what I thought. There was hardly anyone on the road. 
But when we got to Walmart, I wanted to go when no one was there. You just thought they were having the parking them. lot was full by the time I got there. You I thought, thought I was... they were having the Mardi Gras, <laughs> the Mardi Gras up in here. I thought I was doing something, y'all. And of course, I said, "Okay, Bill, you go and check the toilet paper area." I said, "We'll go there first. Of we had a that was a waste we had a nothing we had a strategy, and then I'll go to the we'll go to the disinfectant area and, and that then, was empty and the paper towel area and then we go to the water that was empty right so let's get some meat that was empty <laughs> <laughs> yep we did I get thought a few, we few things something. there though we got a few things but we ended up going to like three stores. So we were back in the house by nine o'clock, about we nine nine thirty. While we were store number two, someone came in and said, "Hey, down the street at Kroger, they have toilet paper, but you can have one thing a person or something." You know, we're going. Yeah. So we went out and so and Kroger that. Kroger is limiting, so which is good. That's a good That's thing. That's very good. Yeah, because they you, have it, and people are coming in there getting like. When I went into Walmart, they, the the salesperson had just. Unpacked about maybe twenty bottles of alcohol, right? Time she put them up, this one lady just was right standing right behind her. She swiped her arm and slapped all twenty bottles into her shopping cart and rolled on off. And people were mad. I thought something was gonna happen. I said, "Let me go the other way." <laughs> Seriously, I've seen it can know, be brutal up in there. I was trying to get in early. People get mad at something like that. Yeah, I just wanted to get in there early and just get out. So I guess she's going to be creating her own uh, sanitizer. Cheryl Jones, you're right. She says this is a great opportunity. She's going to organize some more. I think I'll make some more cards and awesome. drop them in nursing homes. Oh, yes. I, there's a couple of people that's doing that. Um, yeah, I thought that would be really, I think that's a great idea. Sheila too. Overstreet says she's going to get in her craft room and put together a spring reef. Oh, nice. Barbara Lank says she, she got Caden out of school. The school stamp said he's actually doing his homework stamping. Oh. He's doing addition in pen and some pencil. Cute. So that's another idea for using the stamps. Angela says she found the Daxi Marcos marker. She ordered a 40 set. Okay, so they have a 40 set too. Look, I just skipped right over to <laughs> Angela, listen to great. The price is a fan. You're gonna really like the tell you what, when you get them and try them out on the next live after the after you try them out, let us know how you like them. What, what do you think? Yeah, we would love to see if you. And, but I'm look. I'm using this, and look how pretty the colors are coming out. I'm quite. And they blend pretty. Quite well, happy too, with this. Yeah, look at this pink. This is my first time using um, these colors, so I haven't got a chance to use all the colors other than that purple color, lavender looking. But um, hey, for what they do, and look how cute these digital flowers look. This is one of those couch potato crafting you can do. Is just get a tray, uh, print out your stuff, or stamp out your images, and just go to town. Do something that makes you happy, that brings a smile to your face. All right, you know, said to your face. If someone around you happens to smile, the more so much the better. But bring a smile to your face. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm loving this. I read somewhere where they said you uh you use up more muscles uh, when you frown. When you frown than yeah. if you smile. It takes more energy too. But people spend all their time frowning. There you go. Some people must be really exhausted then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw a man, his face was he frowned so much that it was perpetually in that shape. He woke up, it just looked like that. <laughs> Seriously, look like someone just took their hand and put it and grabbed, put two fingers on his eyes and the thumb and other thing down by his mouth was kind of scrunched up like. And then once they moved their hand, his face just stayed. You know? Bill, stop. <laughs> stop. Y'all hey, can visualize that, don't uh, you? <laughs> oh, so I, I've seen a Whispers concert Ooh, before. I saw the she Whispers. She said my too. first concert was the Whispers and I was all. Of eighteen, in my grownness. Oh, my. Sonya, <laughs> Sonya. She said she Hold tried on. to order drinks. Hold up, Sonya. I saw the whispers in the Manhattans at the same time. Wow. Right? 
And the guy from the for Gerald something. Anyway, the lead singer from the Manhattans, his voice was so strong when he sung the way we were, you know, the last, we were, you know, the last song for our sentence. He took the microphone. We were in a huge uh, stadium. And when he said the way, he put the microphone behind his back. And, and his voice was so powerful, you could still hear him all over the arena. Mm. There was no Milli Vanilli up in here. Not in these days, baby. These guys <laughs> let it go <laughs> down, okay? About Milli Vanilli. Oh, yes. They were <sighs> sick. I remember I was in Canada, Tracy, and I saw Gladys Knight sing. She could sing so good. Oh, my God. Her voice was powerful, too. Someone said they went to a Michael Jackson concert. Oh, my Let's God. See. I tried else? to go. I couldn't get in. Let's see. Who else? We all stayed. So the people, most of us stand outside trying to listen. So I didn't know what I'm talking about. Mm. <laughs> Regina said my sister wanted to be a pimp when she was younger. <laughs> Gladys Knight and the Pips. It's like saying, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And just says, loving the pink. The pink looks cute. Pink, give Let's her see a if pink I can find something darker. Pink and food. Pink and sing. Oh, look, he's saying pink. <laughs> Seriously, I was listening to her the other day. She was singing with somebody, and uh, I was shocked she sounded like that. Let's see. Here's all the variations of that pink. Look at that. So let me see what this one looks like. Let's see. Oh, okay. So I can do a little bit more going deeper right here. Right in these little corners right there. Go even darker in there. Hmm. Oh, right. Sonya has to go for a second. Her mom's calling her constantly because her mom want to know where we at. Yep. You're going outside, Jay, baby. All right, baby. We're always mama's baby. You know, they say that Rona out there. Don't go out there. You know, my great grandmother, she'll rename the stuff. And you better not correct either. She, my great grandmother she used to say something like, Don't y'all dispute my word. That means don't dispute my word. But she, you better not try to say, Grandma, it's called dispute. <laughs> you might be find yourself on the floor, okay? You might find yourself spewed all over the floor, huh? They would say something, and you would say, no, that, before you could finish, she would look at you and say, mm. are you calling me a lie? And mm. that was it. If she even got that far to even say that to you, you would you you already know, it done. was already over. Teeth were already, <laughs> <laughs> teeth were already Grandpa, loose. Grandpa, just let me lie on the floor on my own. I do it myself. Don't worry about it. Mm. You couldn't even fix your face to look like you just like, Grandma, can I go outside? And she would say, just call me, no. And then she would look at your face, looking for the now slightest look, crease of displeasure. Look she like so. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Ooh, Angela, Patty LaBelle, Lord have mercy. I saw her Oh, too. I've gone to a couple oh of her concerts. Oh, my God. I saw Patty But I concert. also went to see Dream Girls with Jennifer Holliday in, in New York, okay? Um, I can't remember what theater was. I took my school. mom with me, uh, and I had gone like I think it was three three times um, to go see whichever show. Sometimes it didn't have Jennifer Holiday, wasn't it? And you knew was not in when it. She wasn't there, didn't you? No, because the people they still stepped up. Whoever ha had her part or sang that part, but she made it her song. Okay, everyone sings it like her because they because they know the people. Are the, she set the standard. But it's a true testament to Jennifer Hudson of what she's actually actually doing. The mere fact you would even compare her right. to Jennifer Hudson when it comes to doing that song, that meant Jennifer Hudson. I mean, when you compare Jennifer Hudson to Jennifer Holiday. Yeah. She just didn't get and I am I can't she just I'm not even try just didn't get the recognition <laughs> at that time that she deserved. She really did. She really, she she set the standard for that song. Not everybody can just sing that okay, song. Okay, Sarah Galepsi says, can I see the back 
so she can see how the ink looks on the bag. It's going to go right through the paper. Well, this is a very... I'm trying to use up this cardstock because I ordered the wrong one. So this is a 65 pound. So that's what it looks like. But it's still working. Well, some people say that uh, when you do al use alcohol markers to put another piece of paper underneath because the alcohol will go through. Mm-hmm. Yep. How's that, Sarah? Oh, yes, Jessica McKenzie. She said, Jessica said, Jennifer Hudson can no, she can't sing. Can't she sing. Can sing guys. <laughs> Hold up, Bertha. Bertha Buzz Wilson said, "Dreams Girls is awesome." Let me ask y'all a question: How many of y'all went to the movies to see Dream Girl? And when Jennifer Hudson sung that song, I'm telling you, at the end, everybody in the entire movie found themselves on their feet clapping, like a standing ovation, giving a standing ovation. And you're at the movies now. I didn't even realize I was standing. She was, I was on your feet, clapping. huh? Oh my God, she sung that song. <laughs> and I and then to come discover all across the country, it was that's the same thing, reaction that took place. Just couldn't help myself, right? Yes. Now we did go to a movie one time. This is just a side note. Me, <laughs> <laughs> me Bill, and Ariel went to the movies. Oh my God, I y'all, I. Okay, so there was a lady in there, and I hate it, hate it. I'm not going to tell this story. I can't tell it. I can't tell it, babe. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my about. God, <laughs> I know what you're about to say. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, Sweetie Spy Creations, those markers, she says, what are those called? That's... <laughs> Sweetie Spy Creations, don't Good make question. her say that again. Saray, 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 please. Saray. You don't know what they're called, but you Okay, so <laughs> they're called Touch Bull, okay? But look, when you go to the site... And I'll put the link in When you the go on, on Amazon, right? Here's what the name of it is. Adaxi, right? And I got the Adaxi 80 count. For $32. For $32, Saray. That's a bargain. Because Copics, you get four for $32. So they have them. Apparently, they have them in the, in the uh, 40 count, too, right? Someone bought them in the 40 count. So... Let's see. So what was I going to say? So, okay. So anyway, Saray, they call a Daxi, right? So when you go, you're like, oh, a Daxi markers. However, when I got them, they had this name on it. So I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. But guess what? They are working pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to use my, whatever they are called, my nameless markers. <laughs> I'm going to use them. Uh, they're at, they're yep they're um they're eighty count these I I got the eighty count ones. So we went to the movies, y'all, and there was so many different scenes, like really powerful scenes throughout the movie. But this woman was in the movie theater. <laughs> she was cussing at the guy who didn't do his wife right. She was cussing what at was the that movie. Um, this part she was two. just cussing. I mean, it was almost like she was in the movie, like conversating. This is someone that's watching the movie just like everyone else. She's crying at the funeral scene. She's, I mean, and not like small cries, crying out so like everybody, like everybody can hear. She Plus, was crying like, <laughs> I mean, she was crying. <laughs> then she slid down in the seat in the movies. And her husband. On the her, floor. Whoever her friend was with her, the other, the, there was another lady friend there with them. And oh they were just trying God. to, I we, mean, she was cussing all throughout the movie as if she was like in there with the characters and yes, stuff. Yes, she was. And I We thought, laughed. So me and Ariel and I didn't and mean Tracy, to laugh. We laughed so bad. She's right in front of us. We couldn't escape but her. But the movie was over now, y'all. We still sitting there looking at the credits, looking at the, everybody you know, laughed. The outtakes and stuff. And I could not compose myself. If, I mean, we must have laughed. Hold up. We walked all the way out of the movies. And that's what's kind of movies had about 24 movies in it, right? I mean, so she was in there putting in her own line as if she was standing right there with the actors and actresses having the conversation with them. Like, just mad, like angry, no good, such and such. And I mean, just. We went all right in the lobby, and she came <laughs> out through the lobby still. 
If me no, and Ariel, we, have to, we left her in the theater. Ho, hold on. You and Ariel looked yeah, at each other. Yeah, but we still were there, and then she came past us. Because we were standing by me. We were laughing so bad, tears. The tears had stopped coming out of my eyes because my stomach was hurting. You ever laugh so much when I you cramp it up and laugh. you just can't take it any longer? All of us were crying, laughing. Just I mean, crazy. she really was relating to those characters in there. I was starting to get upset because I couldn't stop. <laughs> no, my stomach <laughs> hurt. By the time we got out to the car, my stomach was just... And we knocked. already, me and Ariel and Tracy, we already the kind of people laugh at everything. We just, I mean, we always find something that's, that's funny. You know, we, we try I to mean, find I mean, we were bent just... over in laughter. I couldn't even breathe. I was <laughs> laughing so much. I just couldn't breathe. Y'all, I don't know what happened. I just couldn't... <laughs> Couldn't compose myself. Okay, now let me try to answer some questions. <laughs> <laughs> it makes Ooh. me laugh even when I see it now. Mary Brock just got the just got the eighty count. Mary, you Mary, gotta love these what? alcohol ones. I love these. I'm gonna go in, back in time and find and look at some questions. I like the markers. I mean, I don't know the name of them, but I like them. <laughs> Someone's asking Glenda has uh, the coronavirus reached the Netherlands. Oh, chances are pretty strong. It has. It's everywhere. Sweetest Pride Creation says, Tracy, your coloring is beautiful. Thank you. Shirley Alexander says, it's bad in the UK. Things are changing every day. So that's every how day, it's yeah. Yeah, that's that's kind of how it is day. here, too. Yeah. Every day. I I'm trying to stay it. abreast of it, but it can get, like, overwhelming watching. So, um, you know, and everyone's giving out so much information, and some of the information is wrong information. So it's like, ugh. We try to limit ourselves to just maybe the main, like, you know, yeah, like the updates of yeah, each day. It. So I just want to hear the main stuff. That's it. Cuomo or somebody, uh, you know. I just want to get the main straightforward information in a calm manner. And, and then I got it. I move on. Jessica, I understand that. She says, my mom has left in funerals. <laughs> yes, she that's was like, fit right in my family. Oh my okay? goodness! That's why you can't go to church and just be up there laughing. Like when we were kids, oh my goodness, we would—I don't know what would happen. I'd just be sitting next to my brother, my brothers and sister. Mm. Next thing you know, we bursting out in just sheer laughter. My mother would look over, and I don't know why we wouldn't just like stop. Like I just... know why you didn't stop. <laughs> Because you wasn't in my household. Oh my goodness, it was too funny. Tracy, let me tell you what happened to me. Yeah, but okay. my mother gave us that look now. The look, no, my, my gave us more than a look. I remember mm -hmm. we had, it was like Thanksgiving or something. So everybody would come over. It might have been Christmas. So everybody was there. My mother, grandmother, great grandmother, aunt. I mean, the house was just packed with people. My aunt was like notorious for giving these long winded prayers, okay? <laughs> yeah, Lord, we gathered here today. I'm talking her prayer for dinner would be so long. We'd be like, look, please let her finish. Gene, I'll be saying a long winded prayer when the hungry as I am right now. Mm. So and I knew Jean. everybody had talked about her saying this long prayer before long before she even got there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you heard all the grown ups talking about it. So now she calls, Lord, we are gathered here today. Oh, uh, this and that. And, and now we're sitting there, and I can see my mother biting her lips, trying her best not to break out in the laughter. Everybody look out there, If you touch them with a, one finger, they was just exposed in the laughter. And all of a sudden, I go, <laughs> and before I could get that out, my mother, just like her, she had a spring in her, in her arm, pow, she backhanded me so viciously. Mm. It's like I just went flying across. The, Hold on, everybody in the whole place just broke out laughing. Now, here's the thing. They weren't really laughing at me. I just gave them the release the they needed. to laugh. Yes. I was so pissed off. Because mm. I, I was pissed off to myself. You couldn't show no that you were pissed off. <laughs> not back then. Not for like, that. Boy, straighten your face up. Oh, yes. Mm. I bet I didn't laugh the next year. <laughs> Gene, you can mm. say the longest prayer you want. I don't care what you do, but I am not going to That was your aunt, right? Year. Oh, yes. Mm. They did not play back then. Mm, mm, mm. 
I'm sure I'm not the only one that grew up in, in a household like that. I look that laughing in church thing. I don't know what it is. Oh my goodness! As a kid, you know, you just uh -uh. <laughs> I don't know that. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> I do not know that. There you go, babe. Okay. <laughs> that is not happening. Okay, my mind won't even was not happening. Huh? That. <laughs> Ah. Mary got a good deal. She said she only had a few that were given to her, not many colors. So that's gonna you're gonna love this, Mary. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're really gonna love this. Uh oh, Illinois Sheree, she says Illinois is on a stay at home. So they're crafting. <laughs> Illinois is on a stay at home with craft orders. <laughs> Sorry, tomorrow. That's good. God, that's what good. That's <laughs> That's my orders for y'all. Stay home and craft. Oh, exactly. Sabrina said that's a household I grew up in also. Exactly. <laughs> we were definitely seen but not heard. In, in all honesty, we tried our best not to be seen at all. Okay. I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do, not heard. I'm gonna do enjoy your day. I'm gonna take that one and, and make a card out of this. I took mine as a step further. I tried not to be seen and not to be heard. Okay? Mm. You was just trying, huh? Don't be seen or heard, huh? See, the name of the game was get up, do all your chores, and get out of the house as soon as humanly possible. Oh, you, so you did chores as a kid. You better. You had to do them, mm -hmm. and you had to do them to a certain level. Because then, my, otherwise, my mother would make up so much work, you'd never leave for the day. No wonder you don't clean up your stuff you know here. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> And then, once you left, the name of the game was not to come back in for any circumstance of short of death. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I mean, yeah, it's funny. You came back in crying or something. Mama, he, what's wrong, baby? Your arm hurt. Let me see. Let me, let me see your arm. <laughs> I'm so glad you came back because I need you to help me to clean your eyes, do the baby, wash the ball. I mean, she would come over so much stuff. <laughs> If you said, I don't care, my arm is falling off the body, I am not going back in this house. Mm, mm, mm. Now, the other caveat to that is that you had to be in by streetlights. Mm. Not dark now. When the light came on, you had to be not walking towards the house. You had to be in the house. Mm, mm, mm. My dad did not play that. He wasn't playing, huh? Ooh, Susan Miranda. Ooh, that's terrible. Susan said it's Sunday dinner. I always made faces at my brother and sister doing prayer. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Did any of you, or did your brother and sister ever laugh when you did that? And oh if they did, be done, huh? what were the consequences of that laughter during mm. prayer? Ooh, Susan, you were not good. Susan? <laughs> Susan, that's terrible. <laughs> You must have been the older sister. Sabrina, exactly. Don't let them street lights catch you. That's exactly what they would say. Ooh. Look, my father came down to get us one day. Dad, I, you're looking in the wrong direction. I was over there. She, he said, well, you better act like you over there. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna. I'm just cutting this up, y'all. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I'm just going to do it. All I know is I'm having fun right now. Okay, so never mind me. Y'all continue with the conversation. Exactly. Yes, she says, I love playing outside. I did not like staying inside. Me either. You know what? For me, I don't care whether it's birthday, Christmas, whatever. As long as you gave me a basketball, football, baseball, a bat or something like that, preferably a basketball and a football. If you gave me that. I was, was so happy. Go. You could leave me alone to the next b b birthday. I didn't have to see nobody in the family. Mm, mm, mm. But now everybody, they want video games and machines, so they have to stay in the house. No. Mm -mm. You would not stay in my house growing up. Unless you could take the video game outside. It had batteries. That'd be the only way. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all, I'm just building me a card, okay? I'm determined to build me a card, and it's going to look cute. Susan said her dad always laughed as well. Your daddy. See, you and your dad were just alike then, huh? Hmm. 
Ooh, Kimberly. You know what? I had a pastor like that. She says, if we did anything in church, our pastor would call us out in front of the whole congregation. Ooh. Embarrassing. But you know what? It's even more embarrassing. Hold up. You got home. Huh? Ooh, my mother would be like, how dare you disrespect the family name mm. in front of the church? Oh, you know what? Kimberly, that's... I don't have no words to tell you. So I'm like, that's just too... That's just too dastardly a thought to even think about what would happen to me. Hmm. That has happened before. Isn't it interesting how you could have things like that happen as a kid? And you look back on it and laugh like, oh, that was so much fun. That was not fun back then as a kid. But it's fun as you grew up and made it through, I guess. It's like when the Israelites went through the through the Red Sea. I, you think they were talking about, oh, it was so much fun back when we ran, as we running through this Red Sea, not knowing for any second it was going to fall back down on me. Wait, I don't think so. But years later, it, it, it was fun. Kimberly said, yes. She answered to mama and the pastor. Mm. <laughs> we were coming up to, how many of y'all got paddled by the teachers? Mm -mm. Please. I got paddled by teachers. My mother was a teacher. Mm -mm. So you know. Look, my mother be up there <laughs> fighting the teacher. My mother did Sabrina not. said me. My mother I was like, because I will laugh. She was like, I'll go ahead. You tell me what the problem is. I'll take care of it. Ooh, I'll take care of my kid. As little as she was, she was like, my mother didn't play. Hold up. Jennifer said, so when I was about four, my mom and dad bought my sister and I a swing set. My sister beat me to the spy and I didn't like it, so I bit her on the booty. <laughs> I got a whooping, but I laughed later. About five, ten oh, years that's later. That's okay? too funny. Okay. Kim Dixon says, <laughs> y'all are funny. She did that in, in, the, in the bus driver. Ooh. And the bus driver was her mother. Ooh. Ooh, Kim. So we, there was no escape for you. You couldn't even you couldn't even make nothing up. It wasn't me. I saw you. <laughs> I looked at you do it. It wasn't me, mama. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Oh, baby, come on. Come on again. Y'all, look at that coverage. Look at that coverage on that flower. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. So I guess my card's going to have two flowers on it, huh? I'm starting to get the feel of these markers, y'all. Ooh. Kim Dixon said, I'm mom in the care. She whooped me once a year just to make the other kids on the bus think she'd whoop them. Because chances are she would. Mm. Back then, they would. Other than well, it's just the fear of it. And still, how said we raised the same way. But you know what? We were, we were some good kids. Please. This is the story you were telling me. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Kids were more respectful. Even the most villainous of a child would still show a kind of like somewhat of respect to, to, to adults. Now, he may be as evil as could be to us, but he still had some semblance of respectful authority somewhat. Oh, like even the bully in the school? You even mean? the bullies. You know, now when they got to high school, a lot of them started kind of. Or they could say, or the or the other parent could say, like your mom could say, uh, "I'm gonna tell your mama. Wait till I speak to your mama about you." I would just start crying. Oh, please, don't do that. Mm. I'll be good. Too late. And I don't. I'm noticing now that it's not like a, I would have noticed it by now, whether it was like a distinct odor with these markers, but I don't smell anything. So that's the smell of alcohol? An, another win-win. How would you compare the smell of those to the smell of the copics? Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't use the copics often, so. So have you ever used markers and they did have a smell? I know people have said they have, but I don't smell anything. Okay. But, you know, I would, you know, I'm just saying, no. I don't smell anything with these. Margie likes your flowers. Thanks, Margie. Margie's still on here, huh? I thought I would have scared y'all off by now. 
Yep. Fun, fun. Joe Gilbert says she's making a birthday card while she watches. Oh, nice. Look at Joanne. Jessica, she says, my niece and nephew can be super rude to me, but I used to put them in their place when they act up. Mm. Please. My mother and grandmother didn't just look at you and you start crying. You know. You could even tell the look. There was a certain look <laughs> and you knew you were just going too far. You just knew, huh? And there was no recovery from whatever it was you just did or said. Isn't this going to look lovely on a Mother's Day card? Or it's whatever card. So Birthday card or whichever, you know? You know what? It's still can, how. Uh huh. You're absolutely correct. She says, My mother raised us to respect our elders no matter who they were or the color of their skin. I'm 85 years old and I'm still like that. She said, You show respect and you give respect. You know, we were the same way. Absolutely. And that meant everyone. Actually, on our street, we had, there were people we okay, uh, there were mixed races on our street. I'm from Saginaw, Michigan. We kind of grew up in the outskirts of a place called Green Invest, the township. And right across the street, my best friend, who really draws, his name was Danny Alvarez. He was Hispanic. And Ricky Cedar, he was an older uh, Caucasian guy. His parents, they were so nice. And uh, you said it was just like that on, all throughout the street, you know? So... Everyone's very respectful. Cheryl Jones says, that flower reminds me of the flower that would bloom in my pond in a previous house. Oh, nice. This is really a gorgeous flower. I'm really loving this. So I'm going to use this blender and see what I can do. Um, let's see what happens when I... Uh oh it... Don't get the coloring police after me, y'all, okay? I might be breaking some rule here, but hey, I'm having fun. <laughs> Let me I think I better use one of these. Let's see. Let's see what happens when I do something with this. Yeah, everyone's really talking about respect a lot, Tracy, in this group. This is a great one right here. Well, everyone is, uh, yeah, they, we, how we respect just love respect. Has been heard, how they were grown up. And, uh, they were raised to respect uh, everyone and treat them as the way they would want to be treated. Mm -hmm. and exactly, it's still how. Please. Marge says, kids aren't taught to respect like we were. Well, you know what? I think parents had more time to kind of take get involved in the child rearing process. Now, they let I think they let television and that sort of thing. Well, it looks like being mean kids. seems to get the most attention. And yes, uh, not being, you know, just does, you know, being mean seems to get all of the, the attention. It's like, wow. And, and you got some adults that are behaving badly, too. And the kids are following those examples. So, yeah. And television doesn't have a cutoff time. Like We knew that at like sometime before midnight, da, 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 you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know where your kids are? Do that, that, that sound went on all night in the morning. Do you know what I'm saying? So you had nothing else to do except sleep. First of all, you're going to sleep anyway because the mm -hmm. lights, lights out off. at 8. Okay, oh. you got to have a oh bedtime. My, uh -uh. my grandmother. My you, know, you got to have a bedtime. We had, you know, my kids, <laughs> my daughters, you know, look, story time was our bedtime ritual type thing, you know. There was no staying up till the wee hours of the morning. Hi, Marlene Watts. Hey, Marlene. Don't mind me, Marlene. I'm just creating this card, getting ready to finish up here. 
Y'all probably like, thank goodness. <laughs> she taking all kind of time. It's still house is. Are those markers from Amazon? Yes, they are. Oh, which ones are those? Oh, that's the one. That's the one, right? Huh? What did you say? Yes. Yes, those markers are from uh, Amazon. I'll put the link up again. For oh, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the Adaxi. Uh, <laughs> We nameless, guess that's what it's called. Nameless markers. <laughs> but don't be fooled. For the price, they can't be beat as far as alcohol markers. Well, they're great. I mean, they can be beat, but they're they're great markers. For the price. Co for the price? are really good, but for this price, yes. It's, it's an excellent price. For the price. That, that's my thing. It is an excellent price. For $32 and 80 markers, that's a pretty good deal. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying these colors. I mean, I can, you know, and I just use the pink and the purple for right now. So I haven't even tapped into to the other ones, the oranges and the reds and the the blues and all of those. So June says, why nameless? Because they are. We, we, we have a confusion. Well, she probably tuned in later. There's a confusion with the name <laughs> um, that they were under. And then when I ordered them, they came in and the name that was on the actual marker is different. Is not the same name that was on the site, which was Adaxi. If you put the name of the marker that Here you it see is. on the marker in the Amazon, nine, 99 bull. times out of 100, you're not going <laughs> to find it. I mean, you might. Touch bull. But, but I didn't know that until it came. But if you put Adaxi under there, you're going to find it. Adaxi yes. Adaxi markers. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link right here in case you want to see it. Yeah. And I'm not, this is, I don't, I'm not sponsored by um, this. I just wanted to see how these markers looked and um, Man. they they look good, you know. Tracy, Mark, Estelle House says she, she got them after you first showed them and I like, she liked to use them. So she gave away the topics that she had. Oh, wow. What? And that is a true. Estelle. Wow. So everyone Estelle likes them, so hey. Estelle gives them a thumbs up. So I'm just having fun coloring, y'all. I'm just making a card here. Okay. Okay, so we're going to... So thank y'all for hanging in there and being on with us live this afternoon on a Friday. I know many of y'all have probably got your dinner time. Y'all might, well, y'all might be in different time zones, so. June says she likes that there are pastels in this thing. Yes. The pastels work really well with the darker markers, too. And the blending is decent. Yes, here's, and I didn't do any fancy uh, blending. I just kind of went with what looked good to me. I don't, you know, I didn't want to have to figure it all out. So I just went with what what seemed to be right. Which is usually what Which works. is everything, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to put something on here. <laughs> Me while I get some Marlene Watts says, things. hey, since we're all home all the time, we can eat dinner anytime. <laughs> well, there you go. Mary Brock says, thank you for letting us craft with you. It really helps us oh, even I'm more so now. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Jessica says, thanks for keeping us company. Well, thank y'all for keeping me company and, and hanging out, you know? Exactly. I'm sure I'll get those few people like, yes, I know, and just like, down here too long. <laughs> Marlene says, are you using the markers you showed last night? Yes. Yes. Because y'all said y'all would love to see these, so, so I'm going to so put them right on here. I am good. What? Only two of these? I must have some somewhere else. Y'all, this is the last bit of... um. I gotta have more of those mount mounting tape. Let's see. You ran out of humpers? Oh, let's see. Hmm. Oh boy. What are you trying to find? 
Okay. It's probably all gone. There's some right there, ain't it? No, those are, I need I need more. Like, yeah. That's just the long one. Huh. I can actually get over here. I got my little crafty cart here. See where my stuff is. Well, I'm going to put my hand here so y'all know that something's happening. Tracy, I think you've used all your humpers. And I am not going to Dollar Tree. I'll just have to make two. There was some little hump, little tape right there by your thumb. Yeah, there's some. Some no, baby tape. Not, no, that's, that won't work. Right, let's see what we got here. I think you used it all up. She's in disbelief, y'all, that she can't find mounting tape. <laughs> uh, I shall find some yet. Is this on my head? No, bro. Wow, you just never know. Oh, you found some? When you're going to run out. Good stuff. People, let me try to read something. Let me see. Yeah, just read the comments. Maybe. Susan Stewart made it for the five minutes we have left or so. They said, hey, you may have to uh, do some cardboard with glue. Exactly. Whatever. You're so right. Right. A few tiny Stale ones House left. says you can build them with folded cardstock. Exactly. exactly. Oh, I got a few left here. Look at that. Susan Miranda says you can order them from Dollar Tree by the case. Mm. <laughs> uh, don't give me the online Sonya shopping. Sonia Creel says spread the two humpers out. I got some. I have some. But I'm not trying to go to Dollar Tree and look for one thing, you know? Susan Stewart says foam and glue. Foam and glue. I have this somewhere in here. I just can't find them. <laughs> Look at you guys have all your crafty innovations. Crafty innovations. All right. You got to adapt, improvise, you and do. overcome. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. How pretty. See how these big flowers just work. I don't know. There's something about the large flowers that I've been addicted to. This was fun, y'all. I'm glad we got to come on. <laughs> Someone said, no, not now. But don't run over to Dollar Tree right now, huh? Oh, no. No one's going to Dollar Tree. Hmm. <laughs> We're Bill, in. I'm going for a walk, gets in the car. No. Well, I'll be at home. Okay? <laughs> ah, gets in the car. Look at Bill trying to act all tough. I'm going to be here. I'll be at home. Exactly, Estelle. He'll be right in the car with me, y'all. Estelle says, no mistakes in crafting. It is an opportunity to be creative. You're exactly right. Yes, it is. You're right. We're going to watch a movie this evening. Not sure what. Y'all got any recommendations as far as movies? A series I won't fall asleep on? <laughs> that no one has that. <laughs> Bill, you're trying to be funny. <laughs> you're not trying to be funny, y'all. I don't care. You could have Tracy. They can blow the people up in the first scene when Tracy's falling asleep before the smoke lands, okay? <laughs> Barbara Lang says Creed 2. We saw that one, Barbara. Well, I saw it. Tracy might have fallen asleep. No, I saw it. Harriet, we, we saw it. Oh, I saw that one too. Tracy might have fallen asleep in that one too. Saw that one too. Susan says, don't do the pandemic movie. I won't. No, I'm not going to do it. Mm -mm. I, I see one all, every I day need, on, I the, need on something. the TV. <laughs> We're seeing that now. We don't exactly. need to watch anything like that, you know? You know what? Susan Redder says, watch The Blacklist. I like The Blacklist. Oh, that was a series, That's right? the first scene where the guy walks into the building. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, hey, that was, that was a good one there. Uh-oh, is that Kitty Cat? 
Hi, Danny. I think someone would love to. Susan, we're ready. You watch like nine episodes. Mm. I just, I don't know what it is. I just get settled down and I just end sleep. up falling asleep. You like know? instantly. Not end up. You just. Hey, y'all, I can't tell how many times we've gone to the movies. It doesn't matter what time. No. It's being, Late. it's sitting and just being relaxed. That's what it is. Yep. Susan watched cartoon movies. Okay, we're down the stretch here, y'all. Going down the stretch. Almost done. Danny says, just crafting and cooking. I work at Walmart and I'm not leaving my house mm. on my day off. I don't I wouldn't answer the phone. Ring, so and so didn't come in and uh, I don't care. Tell <laughs> the Oprah is not my problem, okay? I do not care. Oh, Brian says Jumanji. Welcome to the jungle. Oh, Jumanji. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, you know what? Okay, I, I haven't seen, seen that one. one. I know. I, you know of, that's I, one of those kind of. I know of I, the book though. I've been, I've, I've been always meant to get around to it, and somehow never did. Hi, Creative Living. Ooh, sticking to my nails. Look, and I have my little crafty pickup tool here, and I didn't even, not even using it. Susan said the flowers remind me of artichokes. Oh, you know what? They sure do. So, you, so you're getting hungry cute. then, huh? <laughs> Look at that. Look at all that color. Just enjoy your day, y'all. Enjoy your day. And now if I want to, I can put like some sparkly stuff on this. Um, I could put some uh, stickles, you know, to add a little bit of glitter on there. So I might do that later. But I will post the pictures of these in the group so y'all can get some inspiration. But isn't that nice? Just from a digital stamp set. I mean, look, I can create as many of these as I want. You know, so that's our Mother's Day stamp set, and I'm just using it, you know, to just make cards and color them in. Mm -hmm. So I hope y'all were inspired by this. This was really fun to just kind of come on here and just let loose. So thanks for y'all for hanging in there. <laughs> yes, Jessica. Ooh, Sabrina has a household. You enjoy your day. Here's... You know, Sabrina's keeping her sister. I think it's her sister's kids because her sister works at the hospital. Oh, Wink of Stella would be good on that. Uh huh. The age range is 12, 11, 9, 5, and 5. Wow. You need some crafts. That means okay. The, the 12 and 11 year old are torturing the, the five and fives. No, the five year old might be. <laughs> well, 11 and 9 is doing that. Somebody's torturing somebody. There's one that's good, there's one that tells on everybody. This water is completely lost. That's how it works. Yep. All right, y'all. We're going to go ahead and sign off because I got to go find me some dinner. Y'all take care. Uh oh. Have a wonderful evening. Bill said, uh oh. Sabrina says, I mean, uh, Sweetest Pie Creation says, but but where's the stitching? Mmm. <laughs> What is that UPS truck doing out there? Ooh, my order came, y'all. I got to go. <laughs> but not before I do my stitching. Well, I'll go get this. Who said if that? If they come here, I'll go get it. Because I think it's There's a, a delivery truck here, y'all. Yep, that's yep. something I need. It's a delivery. Two big old boxes coming. Oh, y'all hear that? <laughs> this is the beauty of an at-home business, right? I was running low on packaging to get y'all orders out. Y'all are 
in that store just ordering just all kinds of stuff. So um, I have to make sure I I have packaging. So Bill just answered the door, y'all. All right, y'all. So y'all take care. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off. You know, stay positive, y'all. Craft your heart out if that makes you feel good. Um, try not to get too caught up in all the news because it can be be sad. But right. just know I'm praying for all of you. Exactly. Today is the last day of the sale that we have going on. Yep. 15% off the entire store. So. All right, y'all. So, so it I ends tonight. It sure does. So y'all take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.